to give her a good talking to. These buzzers are a giveaway. No one's bothered us yet on account of them. They might sooner or later. It's against the law to kill him. It's against the law to kill most anything without a license. Ah, they're out of range. I just want to scare them off. They say we make it a little more interesting next time on. Dollar for every hit? You got a bet. I get six today. You only get five. Wait. Something's after us. Come on. After us. Come on, boy. Come on, give me the arrow. Good doggy. Come on. Hey, that dog's not fooling. Come on. Come on. seen her since morning. Oh, don't you worry about Lassie. She can take care of herself. I'm not worrying, Mom. I'm just wondering. Me too. About Mike. Don't have to wonder any longer. Lassie, where have you been? Look, an arrow. We can play Indians. Let me see that arrow, Timmy. Any blood on it? May we play with it, Dad? I'm afraid I'll have to keep it for a while, son. Look, buzzards again. Call the sheriff. I was just going to. What's the matter, Dad? Well, you might as well know. Sheriff Miller's up in arms. Some hunters have been killing wild game with their bows and arrows. They shoot the poor things and then let them wander off to die. And the buzzards take over. Oh, how terrible. Someone ought to shoot them. Mike, maybe they shot Mike. Lassie, 
Was my trout with one of these? <laughs> we better go and look, Dad. I don't want you boys in the woods until after those men are caught. Sheriff wasn't in. I left word, though. I gotta find Mike, Mr. Martin. We'll go, Boomer. Please take me along. We can all go. I'll keep the boys in the truck with me. Let's get a move on. in a minute. One thing I do know, that if you keep hoping for the best, the best usually happens. I'm hoping, Mrs. Martin. Me too. Mike! I kept hoping for the best, just like you said. Good for you, Boomer. Just barely. It has a chance. Was it the archers? Yeah. They didn't even try to trail it. Just shot it and left it to die. You can be proud of Mike, though, Boomer. I can? You know what he was doing? He was standing guard over the little fella. Really? Kept those buzzards off. Gosh. I knew he was good for something. I'll drive slowly so it won't bounce around. We'll get those men, Timmy. They're not only cruel, they're a disgrace to an ancient sport. Waiting always seems longer when someone's sick. I remember when our cow died. But the cub isn't dead yet. Would it help if we hope for the best? I'm sure it will. I'm too mad to hope. I know how you feel. Someone will catch those archers sooner or later. If I ever see them, I'll track them and track them and, and track them. And while you're tracking, I'll get Sheriff Miller. And before they know it, They'll be in jail for a hundred years. Now, it wasn't so long ago that you boys had a very good lesson in leaving grown-up jobs to grown-ups. I forgot. Me too. In that case, I think you'd better both promise to stay out of the woods until the archers are caught. I promise. Scout's honor. No, we ought to keep the cub nice and warm. I think I'd better get a blanket. Maybe. I think it's a good idea. Oh, here, that one will do. Is it breathing? I don't think so. You've just made him feel so much at home, he's fallen asleep. Hi, Doc. Howdy, Doc. Hi, Paul. Uncle Petrie. How's everybody? Fine, thank you. It's better down in the barn, Doc. With mm -hmm. more nurses than you can shake a stick at. <laughs> If you see Sheriff Miller, this might be a clue. Yeah, he's got a dozen of them. I'd like to get my hands on those archers. Have to pull me off first to get your legs in. Hello, Frank. Hi, Ruth. Well, have a patient. He's asleep. Hmm? I won't disturb much. Here, hold this to me. Darned old archers. I'll 
bathing with this alcohol. And that'll hold him for now, Timmy. Will he be all right? Is he gonna live? He has a chance. Depends on how you boys take care of him. Frank, there's some coffee on the stove. Fine, I can use a cup. Can we stay here with him? Didn't I say the cub needs your care? We'll give him all the care in the world, and then some. Well, you do that, and you'll pull my patient through for me. <laughs> I wonder if his mom and dad worry about him as much as ours do about us. Everybody's moms and dads worry about him, I guess. I bet his mom told him to stick around home, too. Maybe he doesn't have a mom. Well, he has us now. Well, the sheriff's got a problem, all right. Never knows where those archers will strike. Too much hunting territory between here and Calverton. Well, suppose the farmers were to phone in a report every time they saw buzzards. Do no good, Ruth. Buzzards are always up there, archers are not. Ruth is right, though. It is up to the farmers. Sheriff Miller can't be everywhere at once. Well, the whole countryside's up in arms, I'll tell you that. And I'm telling you this. One of these days, those killers are going to slip up. And when they do, I want to be there. I guess that's the way we all feel. Well, thanks for the coffee, Ruth. I have another call to make. Will the cup be all right? You've nothing to worry about. Couldn't get more nursing care in a hospital. <laughs> Thanks a lot, Frank. Forget it. Bye. Be seeing you, Doc. I'll see you, Uncle Peter. Hey, Ruth, come here. How do you like that? Tending to me's chores. You know what? I love my family. Is it all right with you if I give Timmy his supper in the barn tonight? That's the only way we'll get any food down him. <laughs> Here we are. I asked your mother if you could eat with Timmy, but she says she wants you home. Oh, I'll take good care of the patient. Keep them warm. Come on, you buzzard hunter. Mom, did Doc Weaver tell you anything he didn't tell me? No. He just said that with you nursing him, he has to get well. Is it all right if I say my prayers a little early? Maybe it'll help. It always helps, Timmy. Anytime. I'd like to sleep out here. It's nice and warm. And Lassie would be with me. Well, we'll see. You know, with all the care you're getting, I don't see how you can miss. Go on now. Eat your supper, Timmy. You know, nurses need to keep their strength. Quite a master you've got. Good luck.
Oh, morning, Ruth. Thanks for noticing me. <laughs> morning, Paul. Good morning, Uncle Petrie. I'll go out and uh, bring in Timmy, dear. All right. If I stayed with him, do I have to go to school? I'm afraid so. But Mom will take care of it. But I wanted it to know me. Maybe I could tame it. Now, you know as well as I do where wild animals are happiest. Is it all right if I keep him till he's strong? <laughs> of course you can. I mean good and strong. Paul? Timmy? Breakfast is ready. Be right there. I'm hungry. Come on, let's eat. And we'll get some for him, too. What I see? That's rude. Paul? I wonder what's wrong. Paul? Paul, it got away. Slow down, honey. You're all out of breath. <laughs> eh, it's too hot to go running lickety-split. No, but, but the cub got away. Well, I reckon it was well enough to take off. But, but what'll we tell Timmy? He'll think we let it go on purpose. He, he'll just be heartbroken. Oh, don't worry, honey. He's a pretty sensible boy. We'll explain. Mom! Dad! Uncle Pete! They found out already. The cub is gone. And last is after the archers. Timmy, it was an accident. I just opened the barn door and it just... What did you say? Lassie, the archers. Lassie went into the woods after the archers. They'll kill her. They'll kill her. Uncle Petrie and I will cut across the meadow and go after her. You take the boys back to the house and call Sheriff Miller. Tell him to hurry. I 
I guess we scared everything off. Yeah, I only got three so far. You only get two. Well, there's the doe and the coon and maybe the buck, too. All I got's one dinky rabbit. All right, thank you, Sheriff. Well, Sheriff Miller says that he'll get there just as soon as he can. So while we're waiting, how about some cookies and milk? I'm not hungry. Thanks, anyway. Me neither. Can we go, too? I just want to be sure Lassie's all right. We could wait by the road like we did before and hope for the best. Well, that would make the waiting easier, wouldn't it? All right, we can sit in the truck. Come on. It's that Collie again. You go ahead. I'll back you up. the sheriff. You all right, Lassie? Good girl. You got him all right. Couldn't even get a bead on her. Well, that's what happens when you run up against someone smarter than yourself. Well, you boys have done your share of killing. Well, let's tie him up with a bowstring. It's awful quiet in the woods. Well, I wish Lutz would bark or something. Don't you wish it too, Mom? Oh, Timmy. Here, Timmy, look at me. Now, don't we always hope for the best? And isn't that what makes the best come true? All right, then. Now, let's just hope for the best. and kicking. She did everything but put the handcuffs on these varmints. Good girl, Lassie. Did you find the cub? Either of you Robin Hoods kill a cub? No. Uh oh. I bet he's home with his own mom and dad, where he belongs. Sheriff Miller, to put this pair where they belong. While you're there, maybe you'll learn something about the rules of good sportsmanship. Fortunately, most archers aren't like you. Come on. And I'll tell the sheriff you tracked him down. <laughs> 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 